New at 10, a birth control method. Not for humans, though. We're talking rats. On average, one pair of rats can give birth to nearly 15,000 offspring per year, causing major problems for cities. But instead of killing the rats with poison, a retired U of A professor experimented with a different solution. Just the thought of that, 15,000. Yeah. Now your site's Priscilla Casper with the details. In 1989, the now retired University of Arizona professor Patricia Howard came up with a way to control rodent problems. They call fertility control as opposed to poisoning the animals. By creating birth control for rats. So I worked mainly with this one chemical, BCD, and originally I was viewing it as some kind of a toxic compound because Glenn Sipes, who was a collaborator of mine in the pharmacology department, called and said, my student has discovered a chemical that damages the ovaries in mice and rats. A Flagstaff company called Senestec uses the chemical in their product called Contrapest, which is a liquid bait that attracts rats. They wanted to develop a bait that would be attractive to wild rats, and it's a liquid bait that other larger animals can't get into. And because it's really dependent on the concentration they get, larger animals Number one, probably wouldn't have repeated exposure, and number two, would not be in a dose enough that it would cause harm. Hauer says the EPA recently approved the product because it's an alternative to using rat poison. It's non-toxic, won't harm the environment, and doesn't kill rats. It just makes them non-reproductive. Cities are now turning to this bait to safely control their rodent problem. A Sinestec spokesperson says they partnered up with the New York Department of Health to target rat infestations in the city and will begin putting the bait out next month. Priscilla Casper, KGUT 9, on your side. A